This is the story of unparalleled acts of bravery. A story of men who unflinchingly laid down their lives for the motherland. This is an undying legend of valor, an immortal tale of sacrifice. This is the story of a nation that rose as one. January 1965, the Ran of Kutch. Pakistan stakes claim to 50% of the Ran of Kutch. India retaliates. The two nations lock horns in a series of border skirmishes. Pakistan's belligerence in the Ran of Kutch culminated in the launching of the doomed Operation Gibraltar. August 1965, Kashmir Valley. Heavily armed Pakistani intruders were found to have infiltrated deep into the Kashmir Valley. They were engaged in violent skirmishes with Indian security forces. The aim, to create havoc in the state. Pakistan hoped to portray their violent actions as Kashmiris rising against the Indian state. This would be their excuse to launch their regular forces to annex Kashmir. This was the devious Operation Gibraltar. But what made Pakistan believe that a plan that had failed in 1947 would succeed in 1965? Prime Minister Shastri had just taken over the reins of a nation that had come out of a difficult war with China. Our armed forces were in the midst of a massive transition and we faced a crippling food crisis. Pakistan, on the other hand, had received state-of-the-art American weapons and hardware. But Pakistan made a cardinal mistake. They forgot that the real strength of a nation's armed forces lies in its men and not its machines. The Indian soldier has always defended the motherland, even at the cost of his own life, and kept the tricolor flying high. India would not take the neighbor's aggression lying down. Prime Minister Shastri gave the enemy a firm reply. Immediately, plans were put in place to destroy the main breeding ground of Operation Gibraltar. This was the Haji Pir bulge of Pakistan-occupied Kashmir that lay between the Indian towns of Uri and Poonch. 25th of August, Operation Bakshi was launched to capture the vital Haji Pir Pass. The soldiers of one para, led by Major Ranjit Dayal, braved extreme weather and rain, physically climbed the slippery slopes of the treacherous mountain in zero visibility to attack the pass, and triumphantly planted the tricolor atop the Haji Pir. Major Ranjit Dayal was awarded the Mahavid Chakra for his decisive and inspiring leadership despite heavy odds. The capture of the Haji Pir Pass knocked the wind out of Operation Gibraltar, frustrating the enemy's plans. What followed was a full-scale military invasion on India in Akhnur, with the aim of severing Jammu and Kashmir from the rest of India. The two nations were now at war. This short but intense war saw unparalleled bravery and sacrifice by the Indian armed forces. And the iconic battles fought earned their place in Indian history. In response to Pakistan's attack in Jammu, India launched devastating offensives all along the Punjab border with the aim of reaching Lahore. One of the roads leading to Lahore goes through Barki, a small town that was heavily reinforced with infantry and tanks. The heroic soldiers of four Sikh, along with the blazing tanks of Central India horse, led the attack on Barki. 
bitter fighting ensued until the Indians emerged victorious with the symbolic hoisting of the Indian flag at Barkey Police Station. Pakistan retaliated by attacking Kame Karan in Indian Punjab. The valiant soldiers of the Indian Armed Forces gave the invaders a fitting reply in the Battle of Asalotar. The Pakistan Army, with its superior American tanks, was lured by Indian infantry and engineers into a defensive trap. The tanks of three cavalry formed a horseshoe, surrounded the enemy and completely crushed them. From the ashes of the battle emerged a graveyard of a hundred enemy tanks. This was one of the greatest defeats suffered by the Pakistan army in their history. It was in this battle that company quartermaster Abdul Hamid performed the most awe-inspiring act of gallantry, destroying a large number of enemy pattern tanks using only his recoilless gun, which was no match for the tanks. In the highest tradition of the Indian army, he selflessly made the ultimate sacrifice for the nation. He was awarded the Paramvi Chakra. The enemy would face defeat again, and this time on their own soil. Sialkot, Pakistan, the small town of Filora, witnessed the largest tank battle since World War II. This epic battle took place between moving tanks at a range of only 100 yards. Two of India's oldest regiments, Puna Horse and Hodson's Horse, led India to glory in this battle. Lieutenant Colonel Ardashir Tarapur ably led his regiment, Puna Horse, from the front in this battle, and despite being severely injured, refused to be evacuated. He was awarded the Paramvi Chakra posthumously. Dograi, Pakistan. As the war drew to a close, the battles reached a fervent pitch. In a final thrust towards Lahore, one of the toughest battles was fought in Indian history. The brave soldiers of Three Jat assaulted the town in the dead of the night. They entered each house, facing heavy fire, and after brutal hand-to-hand -hand fighting over 27 hours, evicted the well-entrenched enemy. This was a hard-fought victory under the inspiring leadership of a stalwart commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel Desmond Hayde, Mahavi Chakra. He triumphantly led the Jats in a historic victory march through the town. Our warriors halted the invading Pakistani army on the ground with able support of our valiant air warriors. The Indian Air Force fought with distinction, blunting the enemy's thrust in key locations and fighting fierce dogfights against superior Pakistani aircrafts. They succeeded in completely demoralizing the enemy. The Navy also answered the clarion call of the nation. Our wide guardians protected against expansionist and nefarious designs of the adversary in our seas. The Navy's anti-submarine Elysee aircrafts swept the Arabian Sea, keeping it clear of enemy submarines. The support and prayers of an entire nation gave strength to the armed forces. With the Nara, Jai Jawan Jai Kisan on their lips, civilians from all walks of life helped the armed forces. The nation was filled with the spirit of unity. On the 22nd of September, the UN Security Council passed a resolution and ceasefire came into effect from 12 a.m on 23rd of September. In a war fought in Kashmir, Punjab, Rajasthan and Gujarat, India had gained 1,920 square kilometers as against only 540 square kilometers gained by the enemy. 2,862 brave sons and unsung heroes willingly laid down their lives in the defense of the motherland. 211 men were awarded gallantry awards.
The enemy was left bloody-nosed, shaken, and bereft of any self-confidence. Acts of valor and supreme sacrifice resulted in a renewed patriotic fervor across the country. On this occasion, of 50 years of the 1965 war, the time is ripe for Indians from all corners of the nation to rally together and remember those who fought and sacrificed for the unity of the nation and the idea of India.